Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started CSI SAFE 2016 tutorial series and already we have completed 20 videos and I have shown you that how we'll design and analyze different types of slab. Also how we'll design isolated footing and uh, how we'll define our materials and uh, our different property perfectly. Already have completed that. So from that lecture i'm just going to show that how will design and analysis combined footing okay the rectangular shape of combined footing i'm just going to show that how will go for rectangular shape of combined footing so let's uh, start and before uh, starting i'll just request to you that if you knew here was our previous video that all link are given in description and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update first so first of all i will open our csa shape 2016 software and uh, if you don't know that how to download and install that software then uh, you can use that software from our i mean you can download and ins install that software from the given link in description so first of all i'll just go here new model okay i'll just go here new model now from here first of all i'll select our design code that's okay so here you can select your uh, design code as required here i'll just select that aci 318 14 okay so from here design preferences you can uh, change that so here are uh, the I will just, just recommend you that please do not change resistance factor so from here the value of 5 for tension control 5 for compression control and 5 for share control please don't uh, change that cause uh, this data is as per that code okay so I'll go for minimum cover slab so actually uh, before changing that I'll just click ok and before that I'll come here unit okay i'll change unit and from here i will consider us default okay i will uh, design our data in that unit otherwise we can also select that unit they have no option matrix unit i mean they have no problem according to requirement you can change that so after changing that unit press ok now you have to come here design preferences now you have to change that data so here it's showing us the clear cover top okay is in millimeter so this is we know that it will be 75 because our foundation is directly attached to or directly exposed to earth that's why we have to increase that data now we have to give 75 also okay and uh, preferred reverse size what will be the reverse size actually so i'll consider that 14 or for reverse size will be 14 then i will click and has the uh, minimum cover for beam so as we're not considering any beam here they have, that's why will not i mean we'll don't do anything then click okay now uh, also you can give here project information but i'm not going to change here you can uh, change it according to requirement uh, in my previous lecture i have just shown you that how we'll do it that's why i'm not going to show it here now uh, actually I will just start from beginning okay I will just start from beginning that's why that's why I am not giving that uh, data okay I mean I mean I'm not uh, considering combined footing here from here I'll just click blank so it's done now uh, first of all I'll just go ahead define then materials properties will uh, define our materials properties okay we'll consider that our uh, add new materials properties and i'll consider that a prime c it's three zero zero okay three uh, three hundred megapascal uh, sorry uh, 30 megapascal our fc prime 30 megapascal uh, pascal here m p a 30 megapascal so from here are uh, the unit weight uh, 
in kilo newton it's okay also you can change that according to requirement so from a modulus of elasticity this is okay for uh, 30 megapascal okay otherwise you can change that actually uh, how we'll calculate that modulus of elasticity for that uh, as per ACI code just sorry here if you see here it's not showing clearly actually so if you see here modulus of elasticity okay modulus of elasticity with normal weight normal density concrete those two relationship mm, relation can be simplified so when our fc prime value i mean our 28 days compressive strength value is in psi then we'll uh, consider that equation 570 i mean 57 57000 actually 57 and uh, 4.7 i mean 4 uh, 4700 uh, root over fc prime if our unit in si unit i mean megapascal okay so uh we'll consider uh, here 4700 into root over fc prime we'll consider that uh, data okay for our uh, design process i'll close that so uh it's okay actually here okay it's uh okay here and also you can uh, give it data here like that so how uh 30 30 then uh, into a star sign then uh, bracket and what is our sorry not 30 4 7 0 0 then into I mean the multiple sign then bracket it's uh, 30 then bracket and I will give the sign like that so if I zoom to so just see here so that sign and uh, it will be 0 0.5 so if we come here just see here it's up automatically cal uh, calculated okay this is the newton per millimeter square megapascal now here uh, this is 30 okay this is 30 it's done now we'll press okay and uh, actually it will consider automatically and if you have uh, the different poison ratio then you can change that actually and uh, no need to change that value it will calculate automatically after that i'll press ok now i'll go for our bar as a 60 grade bar okay so uh, 60 grade or 500 tmt 500 tmt megapascal bar i'll use that so i'll go ahead add new properties so from here fy 500 megapascal okay megapascal now from here i will select river sorry uh actually i'll just okay it's uh, i will just show something here um, so from here we have to select river and uh actually weight per unit volume this is the weight per unit volume and modulus of elasticity okay modulus of, of elasticity in megapascal it's almost two lakh megapascal okay so here uh it's almost two lakh it's almost two lakhs uh, actually in uh megapascal unit i mean in si unit our uh, modulus of elasticity for river is two lakh mm, megapascal it's done and from here we have to select what is the uh, minimum yield strength i'll consider five zero zero and i'll consider that uh maximum tensile stress if you actually uh you have you will get that data from your tensile strength test i mean from a river tensile strength test you will get the data so i'll consider that 600 okay so i'll press okay actually here i'll go for modify for our rcc and from here we have to select concrete actually we already selected but we have to select concrete from here okay and then press okay so we have successfully defined our materials properties then i'll click here okay now we'll go for our slab properties so actually in slab properties we will define our add new properties uh, i mean we'll define our footing so i'll give her four uh combined footing okay and i'll consider that it's uh 250 mm okay 250 mm i mean uh, it's almost 10 inch so 250 mm and from here we'll select our materials fc prime it's uh, 30 megapascal and from here we can give the property set and from here we'll select our footing okay we'll select our footing and here we'll uh, consider thickness so for 
uh, thickness hotel bed thickness 250 mm right and actually uh, if you have the different shape or be different uh, thickness of your footing then you can select it and you can give that data but our thickness is same that's why we will not use that option then it's done this are combined footing and after that again we will go for add then here we will select stiff column stiff column stiff okay and from here I will select stiff and that will be same as uh, 250 right it uh, to uh, make the similar thickness of our column stiff and foundation we will use that then I will click ok so it's done now I'll click okay so we have uh, defend that after that we'll go for uh, we have defend successfully our slab properties our metals property now we'll go for our soil subgrade properties so in our every past every video I have just shown you that how we'll defend that soil subgrade subgrade properties so for that I will uh, here soil one I'll just go for modify here and I'll give here bearing capacity okay BC now from here just we have to change that data actually what is that property subgrade modulus compression only for compression only because uh, when our foundation will I mean a uh, load on foundation will work then uh, that load from our foundation that will press I'm mean, compress the soil and this is compression load only okay so this is our compression that's why we have select that compression option and uh, here subgrade modulus Ho actually what is the subgrade modulus first of all we have to know that what is subgrade modulus for that if I show you from here here so just uh, see here here is the subgrade modulus here uh, soil subgrade modulus equal to k equal to pressure dif divided by deformation actually in our previous every video I have discussed about that so you can watch that for clear concept so pressure deformation equal to uh, sorry um, soil subgrade modulus that means the pressure by deformation so what is the pressure actually this is the pressure means allowable bearing capacity allowable bearing pressure or bearing capacity of soil and deformation means the maximum allowable settlement of that foundation okay maximum allowable settlement of that foundation so uh, uh, we know that as per uh, ACI code actually as per ACI code our uh, allowable settlement allowable uh, settlement for our isolated or combined footing is 25 mm and for mat or raft it's 50 I mean uh, 50 mm right so uh, here actually uh, you will get your allowable bearing pressure from a geotechnical engineer after soil test but here I will consider our bearing pressure is 200 kilopascal okay so uh, here if you see here it's 200 kilopascal and we'll divide it by 25 divided by 100 because uh, 25 will be divided by 100 to make that millimeter in meter so our total data is 8000 kilonewton per meter square oh, sorry meter cube so this is actually our soil subgrade modulus right so uh, you can take a screenshot for a screenshot from here and also you'll get that data from internet if you search like uh, for soil subgrade modulus here you will get that two data here and after uh, providing that data we'll check that our foundation is okay or not so what will be the check actually our uh, pressure under footing that will be less than 200 kilopascal right and our deformation under footing that will be less than 20 5 millimeter now I will uh, close that and here I will use 8000 kilo Newton per meter cube it's done now uh, I will just simply click here okay so we have defined our then again okay now we have successfully defined our wall materials properties so you know next video I will just show that how will define i mean how we'll uh, draw our footing component footing and how we'll design that so if you think that that's helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and like our video share our video and also leave a comment because your own like and own share inspires for the next work and for any opinion please contact with us from the given mail 
or mail id or uh, in comment box so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video